good morning everybody um, we're doing wildlife watch at the minute we were on our way to look at the honeycomb worm reef on the beach and as I've come tramping across the, the beach, I noticed that the seagulls were all getting the hair off. And if you look at the end of that groin, I'll not point because it, I've, I've zoomed in, there's a heron stood in the water and the seagulls are all going mad because he's Mr Heron in the wrong place on the beach and they're not having any of that. Let's see if he's going to fly off. They're not having uh, intruders in their, in their territory. He's hiding at the back of the groin. Let's walk towards him and see if we can get a better shot. I bet the poor thing's wondering what's happening. We're not having that, were they? If he sees me, he will fly away. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, I was on my way down to the Honeycomb Worm Reef and I was just thinking that, you know, they've got beautiful... There it goes, look. Wow, look at that. Big lad. Amazing. Leave him alone. Not having that, are they? You can always tell that there's something around that shouldn't be when the seagulls start going berserk. Poor thing. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, we were supposed to be going over there. Over there. To the honeycomb worm reef. Can you see it? Right next to the edge of the water, there's a ridge of grey. There. That's where we're going because we're going to go and look at the honeycomb worm reef. I think Mr. Heron's going to be there for a minute or two, so we'll leave him with the seagulls and we'll go this way. Yeah, so if you think they've got beautiful reefs in the Caribbean and that's the only place where they grow, you're wrong. Oh, that's mud. It's a lovely feeding ground for birds, but oh, it is a mess to walk through. I'll have to go through it, there's no alternative. Yak! Squidgy, thick, sludgy mud. That will be full of birds feeding later. I always just think it's oil, but it's not. It's mud. Ugh. That's horrible. Oh, The things I do for you. Yuck. Let me see if I can wash it off in this little river. Oh, God, that's getting deep. Just a minute, I don't want to sink. It's better. Wash it off my wellies. What a mess. It's good to have put wellies on. You don't want to get stuck in that lot, do you? Right, you can see there's quite a deep sand bank here as well. Just look at that. And that's what people get cut off in. When they're on the wrong side of the channel, they get cut off. Right, anyway, honeycomb worm reefs. Let me see if I can get this sludge off on this sand. That's better. It's not half hard work on your legs. So, I've got absolutely no idea what a honeycomb worm, worm looks like, but I do know that they make reefs. And depending on... Um, where the sand is relative to how it's been eroded by the sea you can either see it or you can't see it and sometimes it's really really exposed and at the moment there's not much of it that's actually showing there's just a fairly small 
patch of it and I'd noticed it earlier this week and thought I'll put my wellies on one day and I'll, I'll come for a walk and show you because when I've been on about it the other day I realised that it was all under the sand at that time so there wasn't actually anything to show you I'm telling you all about this reef and it's all hidden so as you can see it sticks up out of the sand like well it looks like sludge it looks like sort of thick thick woody sludge as if it might be tree trunks or something like that but it's actually the reef that the, the worms make with the casts and like I said I've got no idea what the actual worm looks like I just know that <laughs> these belong to them and these beds are usually full of birds oh god more mud um, they're usually full of birds feeding because this mud that I'm complaining about is a brilliant feeding ground for seabirds look they're quite amazing really and apparently they are quite quite unique oh look look at that bit there you can see the on that you can see the lines that are running through it where part of it's broken away where the worms have come to the top and made the casts and there's a there's a strand of this all the way across the beach at, at about this this point which is quite interesting and I've just noticed a dead shark are you ready da, 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 da. let me just drop this shell I've picked a big a big oyster shell up just take my glove off and I can show you the shark da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. jaws it's a dogfish but a dogfish is a small type of, of shark apparently and they're the ones that lay their eggs in those mermaid's purse egg cases that we find all over the place so no doubt that will be lunch for a seabird I'm just popping my glove back on that's why it's wobbly that will be lunch for a seabird at some point I'll show you this shell I picked up as well just a second it's a oyster shell can you see it now I don't know whether that is a native oyster shell or whether it's an invasive oyster shell but I shall have a look at that on my um, guide when I get back get back in because there is a type of oyster that is invasive that's not supposed to be here and it might be one of them you never know right people on that note I'll get back to my decorating so from a beautiful if muddy Cleveland's beach I'll see you tomorrow have a nice day stay safe stay home see you soon <laughs>